Christmas because it was something like 30% off or something like that over at Target. They're still selling this. It's $20. So if it was 30% off of 20, that means that for the holiday season, I paid mm, like $14 for this. $14 to be able to make bath bombs and these little like roller scents. I thought it was gonna be a really good price until um, I opened it up and wanted to make all the bath bombs and the little rollers. And it does not have any instructions in it. No instructions at all. Seriously, it does not have instructions. I looked on Reddit and there were so many people commenting. There was even this mom that was super rude and was like, my daughter opened it and has already lost the instructions. And I was like, girl, nobody has the instructions. Literally, they did not print the instructions and put them in here. And I don't think that the company did. Look at all of these reviews stating that there are no instructions. They realized they didn't put the instructions and what they should do is put them online on target.com as part of the photos. So that way we can actually just get to playing with it. I have the instructions for you. In fact, let me just put the instructions up for you right now. Here's the instructions. I got them, don't worry. And I got them for you too. Online though, they have said, oh, did you look behind this gold insert? So. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look behind this gold insert to see if maybe we've missed it. So let's get started. Let's see if it's behind the gold insert. I guess I'm confused about what gold insert they're talking about. The gold insert, do you mean this tray that it's in? You want me to look behind the tray, okay. Let's just go ahead and fold it over. That's where they are. The gold insert that they're talking about is literally the piece of paper that is here. So I'm gonna admit it, I was wrong. I'll admit I was wrong. You would think that the instructions would be right here. Here they are. Here's the instructions. Man, I had them the whole time. Well, I'm so happy that I was able to get them online to show you guys and at least allow you to pause it. But if you have this set, pull the backing off of the gold tray that everything comes in. And if you pull the backing off, that's where you'll find the instructions. They did come with instructions. They do have them. They've got them here. But Come on, y'all, to put it behind the packaging and not in like the plastic packaging part is kind of lame. So normally this is what I would like open it and start to take everything out, which I did. I took like, they've got these cute little cards, little stir stick, mixes. So let's get started. Baking soda first. Two tablespoons and one teaspoon of baking soda. Four tablespoons of the bath bomb mixture. Add a quarter of a teaspoon of the mica powder. Add oil to the mixture. Another quarter teaspoon of our choice. So since I did purple, I know it's basic, but we're gonna go with lavender because it's gonna remind me like this is the lavender one. And then it says to add a quarter of teaspoon of water to the mixture. And as you're blending the mixture with one hand, slowly sprinkle the water into the mixture with the other. I might be adding a little too much, but. So now I'm going to try to push these two halves together, see where we can get ourselves. Okay. 
So I'm actually going to put it into the, the heart thing that I have. Let's see if I can do it. Candy holder. Everybody in life messes up. It's okay. Okay, it just kind of burst open. Let me show you. So what I'm kind of realizing is maybe I should lay it down flat so that instead of giving it the chance to kind of open up, it just has to sit upon itself and come together. So let's see if I can get it to do that. So the recipe makes one at a time, apparently, and that's okay. One down, a lot more to go. They look really good. They smell really good. Here are the bath bombs. So I made 11 and a half. As you can see that this one's just a little halfy, but that's what I had left. Um, and I think they all look really good. I am, I can't keep them in this like little plastic tray, but what I'm going to do is hopefully they are, yeah, they're solid enough. Now I'm going to try to plastic wrap them and use a hair dryer to see if I can't really preserve these. Let's see if I can do it with just some clean wrap. Okay, now let's see if we can close this with the um, hair dryer. Maybe not, but let's see. have pistachios in it. I think it's from Costco or something like that from back in the day. But as you can see, I keep my bath bombs in it and it works really well. Let's give it up just a little bit more so you can kind of see the top. There you go. So you can see it's got one of these little lids, but it's, it's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting these guys in. One says love, one says energy, and one says balance. Okay. First of all, step one, we are going to pour seven milliliters of sunflower oil into our measuring cup, which is this little guy here. Select your favorite essential oil and pour a few drops into the measuring cup. Let's just do some rows. Select which color of mica powder you want to use. Sprinkle as little or as much as you'd like inside. Okay. Mix contents together using your wooden stick until they are fully blended. I mean, it doesn't, I think it needs some more essential oil. It doesn't smell too much like rose. I just squirted it in there. Squirt. Much better. Much better. We're going to choose energy because why not? It's rose. So remove the roller bottle from the top, the ball from the top of your bottle and use your funnel to pour the contents inside. Pop the roller ball on once filled. All right. Seems easy enough. Whee. Whoa. Okay. This is our first one that we have done. Yay. It's actually really pretty. 
roll it out, see how it works. Okay, so it doesn't really like leave purple on the skin, and I have really fair skin, so I feel like you'd see it. But it does smell amazing. So this one's done. Let's go ahead and put this one over here. And let's move on. We successfully made 11 and a half bath bombs and three of these little roller scents. I think it was a success, but it was only after we were able to locate the instruction booklet. This was the kit from Target. I really liked it. Um, it did take a minute for me to make all of the bath bombs, whereas these were super easy. But it's a lesson to me that lets me know just how much work has to go into pressing a little bath bomb, especially if you have no arm strength because you have stick arms like I do. So I have this little press if I wanted to ever make more bath bombs. I totally could. So I think that's kind of awesome. I hope this was really informational for you all. If you all are not able to find the instruction booklet, at least you're able to still make the bath bombs and the scents if you were able to watch the video. So I hope this at least helped a few people out. Give a thumbs up if it did. <laughs> I just can't get it right. Life, you know, it's okay. See, it's all good. I'm Heather, thank you all so much for subscribing. Bye.